how to land the charge back in less than 10 seconds. Step one, find Maurice. Step two, wait till they're charging a beam attack. Step three, throw all your coins, all of it. Congrats, you just did a charge back. But can it be more stylish? That was a chargeback montage made by Simons. What's a chargeback? A chargeback was the act of stealing a malicious face's explosive beam by catching it with a coin. Usually, this insta kills them. Why insta kill? Well, because the, the normal alternative is to just throw damage at it. Tell it drops. Does this look flashy? Does it look fun? No. No, I play Ultra Kill for the unnecessary, impractical, flashy, crazy shit you can do in this game. And I hope you do too. Hi, my name is Heiz, and at the end of this guide, you should know how to land them flashy chargebacks. Here's hopefully what you can do at the end of this video. Plus, some secret, very much impractical, but flashy stuff that no normal player would think of. The Malicious Face, also known as Maurice. Maurice is pretty tanky, but they take bonus damage from point-blank shotguns, nails, and slams. Which means you can insta-kill them like this, if you want to be practical. On death, they squish enemies beneath them. Knowing I plan to cover stuff like this in an essential ultra-kill combos guide. Or was it a cyber grind guide? Anyway, consider subscribing if that's something you'd watch. But moving on, Maurice shoots bursts of orbs, which are parable. Maurice shoots a telegraph beam attack, which is interruptible, with a feedbacker punch or a point blank shotgun blast. This beam attack is functionally the same as your red rail cannon, and like your red rail cannon, it can be shot into a coin to chain into an enemy. The coin chains it into the nearest valid target, usually that's the Maurice themselves, resulting in the insta-kill charge back that we want. If you're watching this, I assume you're not a super new ultra kill player, and that you know how coins work. If you are somehow super new, I'll show you the ropes over there, ultra kill fundamentals. But back on the guide, for coins you only need to understand two concepts. One, where you look affects the trajectory of the coin. Two, coins inherit your velocity. Basically, where a coin goes is determined by where you are moving and where you are looking when you toss it. Ultimately you have complete control over where the coin goes. If you know exactly where to aim and how your current velocity will affect it, you can toss it right into where you predict their beam will be. Okay, so you know how the coins work, you know how Maurice works, you've set up a target dummy. All right, first, limit your movement to only towards or away from Maurice. Moving sideways makes it harder to align the beam because you have to know your coin trajectory well enough to intersect it diagonally. That's hard! You'd be adding another axis to take into account. This perpendicular diagonal chargeback is absurdly inconsistent. As a start, just spam coins. I call this a spam back. Throw it all, get a feel for landing a single chargeback. As long as the beam hits one of your four coins, it chains to every other coin, ending in a chargeback. And when you're ready, go for a standard toss. It'd just be close to Maurice, time the to toss. And if you feel like adjusting the arc, you can toss it while moving forwards or while moving backwards because coin inherits your velocity. Backward tosses reduces the horizontal distance of the coin. So the apex of the arc spends more time in a smaller place, if that makes sense. More time there means a bigger window to be hit by the beam. This method is usually the best choice for close range chargebacks. You're pretty vulnerable while timing a chargeback. 
One way to partially mitigate that is through a slide toss. I like to call this a slide back, regardless of the direction of the slide. Just slide and toss. Up to you if you want to keep sliding. Personally, this is the most practical toss, because I use it all the time. Since the coin inherits your slide speed, and sliding is fast, the coin has a straighter arc, which lines up to catch the straight beam. And since Maurice is tracking you as you slide beneath them, the coin arc is tossed forward. And they're basically tracking the coin by tracking you. I, I could be wrong, but I think this is the most practical way to min-max your odds of landing the chargeback on the ground in combat. Of course, there's also the backward slide variant. You're basically negating and overriding all of the coin's forward speed with your slide speed in the opposite direction. This gives it this tiny arc backwards. Small arc, more time in the apex means bigger window to catch the beam. The lower you aim your toss, the closer the timing has to be to the beam shot, giving this toss a lot of timing variation because Maurice is aiming at your feet and you're basically tossing the coin right there. In theory, this is a good toss, as consistent as the forward slide, but in my experience, the toss timing is just way too different from the other toss timings that it just throws me off. It could work for you though. Tossing the coin low while sliding back basically tries to reduce the toss trajectory aspect of the chargeback in favor of timing. In that case, why not just focus purely on timing and jumping with this next toss? The vertical jump toss completely removes the horizontal aspect of the arc in favor of timing. For short, I call this a vert back. Instead of manipulating the coin trajectory, you focus purely on sound cues. You have to momentarily stand completely still, time your jump and your toss, and since the beam is hit scan and instant, this lands 100% of the time, regardless of your distance or angle from Maurice, if you understand the timing. That makes vert backs the most consistent charge back. However, the drawback is that you need to stand completely still. Any explosions or knockback will ruin the timing prep. So it's not very usable in combat unless you find two whole seconds of peace or you're willing to tank a lot of damage for standing still. And that you are confident that nothing will knock you around. So really, this is only practical when Maurice is the last enemy in an arena or cyber grand wave. The opposite of the vert back, and the veteran's choice. Instead of focusing on timing, this method puts more effort into coin trajectory. I like to call it fall back because you need to be falling to land this charge back. If your velocity is upwards, your coin inherits that and it goes too high to be useful. The fall can be from slam bouncing or even jumping off Maurice that you whiplash from or even just enemy stepping. As long as Maurice is charging a beam and you're falling, you can attempt to fall back. The angle you need to toss heavily depends on a lot of additional things, in addition to the usual chargeback considerations. You need to think about your jump slash fall trajectory and how it affects your coin. This is heavily based on intuition. For the other methods, you would first hear Maurice charging a beam and then you would do some sort of preparation to land the chargeback. A fallback needs to charge to begin when you near the apex of your jump. In a real fight, you should be jumping all the time everywhere. And it's a very real probability that in one of those many jumps, a Maurice is charging a beam at you. If you have the skill to spot that opportunity and capitalize on it, you can perform a fallback. And remember, a coin that failed the chargeback is still a coin that can be chained or shot. It's never a waste to attempt to fall back till that coin hits terrain. Okay, here's a toss I didn't consider practical, until I've actually messed with it in a sandbox. I call this a dashback, and you can guess how the coin is tossed. Remember how slidebacks have a decent chance of catching the straight beam because its coin trajectory is pretty straight, because sliding is fast and the coin inherits that speed? Well, what if you made the coin inherit the speed of your dash? It goes super far, it flies super straight, but it's so fast that it's impractical in close to mid-range chargebacks because the coin catches the beam in its dead coin state. 
What is dead coin state? When you toss a coin, nothing can interact with it for a few milliseconds. Coins can chain to it, hit scans can hit it, but it won't do anything till those few milliseconds are up. So to actually make use of the speed and straight trajectory, you need to be far from Maurice. But Maurice doesn't charge a beam when you're far. So you need to be mid-range from Maurice, wait for him to charge the beam, and then you need to step back a bit, then attempt a long-range Kobe dash back. It's just so niche, and a niche way to execute this niche mechanic. It's flashy, I guess, but I have very little experience with it. If You can make it work if you want, that I'm certain. But you know what's an even less practical chargeback toss? Behold, the lashback. Whiplash pool chargeback. Instead of telling you why this toss is viable, I'll tell you all the reasons why I died trying it. <clears throat> when pulling yourself into Maurice, you risk eating an entire burst of red orbs, or multiple bursts of red orbs, and you can't parry them without cancelling the whiplash and needing to recast it. If you're fast, it's no problem. Finally, gauging the chargeback timing not only needs a good understanding of coin trajectory, you need to understand the whiplash pull speed, how long that pull is till you hit Maurice, fitting both the beam timing and the coin timing in that time frame, and even if you do miss the timing, the coin flies through, then below Maurice, making salvaging it with a chain or a direct shot pretty difficult because Maurice is blocking it with their face. Well, if you want to attempt it, I ain't gonna stop you, machine. Remember that secret crackhead combos I promised you at the start? Well, here's the first one. This is a coin punch. But instead of using up the coin on shot, it tosses it back up again on punch. To be shot. Punched again. Or, well, this is a chargeback guide, so... Yes, it can catch a Maurice beam in the cockiest way possible. Behold, the fist full of chargeback. The coin toss needs to be before the beam attack. So before you even predict the beam timing, the beam location and all that, you need to predict if the next attack is a beam attack. And if the coin punch will go to Maurice, because the coin has its own priority system. It's gonna go to the nearest enemy, and that may not necessarily be Maurice. When I do try to do this, I am fully prepared to be obliterated. It's the cost of coolness. Crackhead combos number two. Shooting a core with the red rail is called a nuke. But if this red rail beam is functionally identical to Maurice's, do you think Maurice can perform a nuke? And you would be correct. I call this an auto nuke. If your core eject shotgun is out and you spot a Maurice charging a beam, go for it. Hell, you can toss the core during the charge and go for a charge back to chain the beam into the core through a coin. I call that a coined auto nuke. At the end of the day, any coin catching any beam is a chargeback, intentional or not. A chargeback in itself is a difficult thing, because you're compensating for coin trajectory with movement and aim, and timing the beam timing and the beam line, all with the power of skill. Don't feel bad if you miss it. Don't feel bad even if you fail to salvage the coin, it's just a 4 second cooldown. And the fact that you made it this far into the video means you have the interest, and probably the skills, to be a stylish ultra kill player. Wait, 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 before you go, remember this clip in the intro? You should check out Simus's video if you're into shooters like Ultra Kill and sick montage edits. I'd like to thank Simus and Katie for helping me with this video. And one final question for you. Is it gonna be Friday soon? Is it Friday? I have long streams every Friday, only Friday. And I'll see ya on Friday. Bye. Nah, dude. I am a turbo mega brain. Oh. Go.
Hi, sir. Can I help you? Oh my... I, what the fuck are you on about? I am on about the meaning of life and the nature of suffering. If, if you cannot feel pain, what is the point of suck my dick? Uh, violence is not the question. Violence is the answer. Violence is not the answer. Violence is the quest, quest question. And the answer is yes. Yes, violence. My brain is like three times the size of the average brain of a rat. Sanso, come here. Come here. Just fucking. Just die. Professional assassin attempts to use grappling hook. Fishing rod to oh, he's he's oh.